Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Olivia Lebeau's Romantic Home and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. I also want to announce another $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. I am going to add details in the description box of this video but all you guys have to do to enter is to comment down below the secret question that I'm going to pop into this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribing is totally free. Today is our last day of a school for my kiddos so happy summer break if you all are heading in that direction now listen without further ado let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get for the first dollar tree diy i am so excited to share with you how you can transform a plastic Dollar Tree garden planter into a faux terracotta pot. So we're going to take some of the featherweight spackle and some paint and you're going to mix equal parts. So a cup to a cup or half a cup to a half a cup. And for this one I used about half a cup because I am going to be doing three projects with this. Then I'm just taking this paintbrush and I'm gently just painting it on. You guys, this is so easy and the results are so amazing and it actually dries fairly quickly. I would say about two hours total dry time to where it's not tacky anymore. And I did lay down a white layer first and then added a little bit of the terracotta color in. I didn't want it to be like the bright dark orange. I wanted it to have more of an aged look. Um, and this is just one of the larger plastic containers from the Dollar Tree. And again, this was so fun and so magical. The next thing I did was I took some of this brown paint and then just some orange paint and I mixed it together with the white paint that I had originally created. And the consistency of this does feel like a milkshake, I guess you would call it. And so now I'm just taking and I'm brushing over the white with this terracotta color. Again, I did want to make kind of an aged appearance. And the other thing you guys can think about when you do this is you can make shapes in this. So you can use like a comb and kind of draw lines in it. I've seen people do that before, but for this, I just wanted it to really look like a terracotta pot. So anyway, have fun with it and transform something and make it look fabulous on a budget. And I did go ahead and go inside of the planter as well. And here is how they both turned out. I thought they looked really, really realistic in my opinion. The next thing I wanted to do was hot glue some foam to the bottom of my faux terracotta planter. I used two little scrap pieces of foam. I decided to make it kind of fabulous with uh, these peonies. I picked up these peonies from Walmart or I'm sorry, from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and they come in a bundle and you can just clip them off and then gently put them into your planter. Or you could use roses or any spring floral you love, lavender, um, lilacs, whatever suits your fancy and whatever matches your decor. And for this one, I just wanted to have a gentle, soft appearance. I'm going to add this on either side of my fireplace mantle in my living room. And so I wanted them to be very subtle I had done really bright colors for Valentine's Day, Christmas, and then softer colors for Easter. And this, I just kind of want it to be a little bit muted. And now I'm going to take just this brown craft paper and I'm going to gently tuck the ground brown craft paper in and around the florals to fill up the excess space in my floral. And then I just grabbed some gravel from outside and I added in some gravel for weight. That way, if these pots get bumped, they're not going to tipsy topsy over. And so once I had that done, I felt like I needed to add some floral moss. I have a love hate relationship with this floral moss. It's amazing for the finished result, but it sure does make a mess. So I added one bag of floral moss to each planter and it seemed to cover just perfectly for these larger dollar size plant dollar tree size planters and you can just gently use your fingers and kind of tuck it in and around so here is the final result and there's Benji bear he's saying hello to you all and he was such a good little helper today I think th these turned out really really fabulous on a total budget and in my opinion they look really realistic I may even go back in and dry brush a
it. We're going to take two Dollar Tree picture frames and you can really use any frames that you have on hand. I'm going to remove the glass and then taking the striped paper, I'm going to cut out a striped paper section to fit down back inside of my little picture frame. And then I'm going to paint those beautiful little metal flowers from Dollar Tree in their garden section. We're going to paint those gold. I've seen this similar their stems and they remove fairly easily I just use these little wire cutters and gently pull them off be careful with this part wear gloves if you need to and then you can grab whatever spray paint you love I decided to use gold spray paint to spray paint my frames and my little metal flowers so this is going to be kind of the little accent piece on the little display that I'm going to um, share with you guys next to my mantle. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, give it a nice, good, healthy coat of gold spray paint, or again, whatever spray paint you love. And I'm just using this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint. It's from Walmart. It's in the color gold. They also had some at Hobby Lobby that was called 24 karat gold, and I bought a can of it and I dropped it and the cap broke. So this was what was left in my craft stash and my backup. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to pop these little uh, picture frames back into their picture frame and I'm making sure too that the stripes kind of line up you guys can probably hear Benji Bear in the background anyway pop those back in and then using a dab of e6000 glue and also some hot glue I'm going to hot glue them on top of the glass I thought that would look a little bit more high-end you also want to kind of bend the little petals out to make sure that the center part has something to adhere to when you glue them back onto the frame and use a generous amount of both glues or just hot glue probably would also hold it on there. The next thing I'm doing is taking these beautiful dazzling jewels from totallydazzle.com and I'll leave the link in the description box for Natalie's website. She's a little small business and her jewels are amazing. I love them. They're so sparkly and so budget friendly. I'm telling you they come out to about $1.50 each and they're really beautiful and sparkly. I decided to go a little bit extra. You guys that know me get jazzy with things and I'm adding some of this gold paint yes I did paint these spray paint these gold but there is a difference in hues of gold and I wanted these to stand out just a little bit I may even go back in and add one more coat of that gold paint it really makes it just pop in my opinion and so here is how they look in my little setup here I felt like they were so fun and fabulous now if I were to do these again I may choose an even larger frame but I am trying to use what I already have in my stash and I may create some more of these so fun, fabulous, high end on a total budget. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the other. Now I'm really excited to share this next DIY with you and for this DIY we are going to make a splatter screen swag. So I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree splatter screens and I'm just going to hot glue a little dab at the base of where the handle meets the splatter screen and begin to wrap it in some nautical rope. Smile, what? 
What is it that you do? And once I had my handle wrapped, I decided to get really creative and grab some Dollar Tree greenery. I love the new greenery that they have out at Dollar Tree. It's so beautiful. So I'm adding a big generous dollop of hot glue and I'm going to hot glue this greenery to the middle part of the um, splatter screen and I used a leaf to cover up the little stem and then I added in some white lilacs or lavender it's the white flower from Dollar Tree and then a couple more bundles of this Dollar Tree greenery and then using a zip tie I'm going to zip tie the remaining florals to the splatter screen and you kind of want to maybe add in a little bit of vine um, around the edge of the splatter screen to cover up the silver part of that handle or you can also just kind of fan your greenery out just a bit and that will work as well. The next step is to make a fabulous bow. Now I've had this burlap netting in my stash for so long now and I decided to make a quick little Olivia bow. So to make an Olivia bow, you just take the loops of your ribbon and wrap them over on themselves. And I'll, I do have a bow video in my description box for you guys if you need um, more instructions on bows. And then I'm just going to take this uh, zip tie and I'm going to zip tie the bow to the top part of the splatter screen handle. And that's really going to cover up that space where you saw the greenery and the handle meet. And you're really barely even going to see the handle once we're done. And then you're just going to pull the loops out on whatever ribbon you choose. Now, you all get creative. You can add florals. You can just choose whatever ribbons you love. I decided to go with this Mackenzie Childs ribbon for my pattern ribbon. And I'm using my Easy Bow Maker to make a simple little bow. It's a six inch bow across. That seemed to be the right size and I do love using my easy bow maker when my fingers get tired I do have neuropathy in my hands so it helps me out a lot you guys can find these at craft stores or also on at deco exchange and then I'm just making a quick little bow I used three loops and then left tails at the base of it I'm going to use a zip tie to zip tie this on I've really discovered the magic of zip ties and I'm kind of addicted to them now don't forget to dovetail your ends by cutting an upward um, little triangle triangle in either end of your bow and then you can attach your bow with another zip tie and if you fan your loops out you won't see any of the zip ties so the key to a successful bow is to use wired ribbon and give it a nice good fluffing so I am play with my bow quite a bit and I wanted to show you guys another bow idea if you're doing for something for a wedding Michaels has this beautiful white ribbon it has these really nice little elegant uh, polka dots on it and they're like a gold polka dot and that would be beautiful as well it's actually originally kind of what I thought I was going to use here but I only had enough for one bow and I wanted to do two of these splatter screens um, for both of the arches and these arches are from Hobby Lobby and their spring shop is all 40% off so everything in the spring shop section these arches and everything that I mentioned from Hobby Lobby I got 40% off so I thought that was a pretty good deal and I think they look beautiful I'm finally decorating my walls I know a lot of you guys have been commenting I need to decorate my walls and so I'm finally going for it. I've also been doing some thrifting and I share with you guys in my next video how I'm using my thrift store items as well. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the others. You said my world on fire. Now for this next DIY, I'm taking this thrift store picture frame and I'm going to remove the picture that was in it and then I'm going to take it and add a nice healthy dose of gold spray paint to it. I did put some uh, paper liner in between where the back was that way that didn't get spray painted and all sticky. Just the spray or just the frame part is getting sprayed and I am using the Rust-Oleum 2X um, gold spray paint. I get it at Walmart, not sponsored, but it's about $3.97 and it does really nicely with coverage. And I only had to use one coat to make this frame have, have a little bit of fresh life. The next thing I'm using is some of this 
beautiful paper that I found at Hobby Lobby. Now Hobby Lobby does run sales on their paper. It's between 69 cents and $1.99 for their more, more high-end papers, but I feel like it is well worth it because this paper to me looks like a beautiful vintage painting. And vintage paintings with florals art can be really expensive, although I have been finding some pretty neat ones out at my thrift stores, but I thought a nice little dupe on a beautiful vintage artwork piece would be to use this pretty paper and look at how beautiful this looks. I had another picture frame laying around. It was from Walmart. So Walmart has these scrolly frames as well. They're not quite as large, but you guys can always grab one of them and they're only $4. And I decided to use this other vintage um, paper and make a similar one but not totally matching to kind of go with the setting and I did take some of this gold paint now the Arteza gold paint I buy it off of Amazon you can buy it off their website too I'm sure um, they have a really good gold paint that makes things look like really shiny bright gold and so I'm just kind of running that along the frame to kind of make it look a little bit more rich or handsome or high-end bougie on a budget <laughs> I guess you would say now I need you guys this help though I was looking at this and check out the setting and there's Benji Bear again he's so sticky cute you guys I just had to keep him in this clip he was so good you guys can probably hear him in the background but let me know should I keep the uh, papers different or should I change them and make them both the same comment down below and let me know I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day DIY we're going to mix up some faux terracotta mixture again this is going to be similar to the faux terracotta pot and so I'm just using some of the spackle featherweight um, spackle and it's from the DAP brand is the one that I love and then some paint and I you use one part paint to one part of the spackle and this time I'm going to make a terracotta bowl so I'm using this clear plastic bowl from the Dollar Tree it's in their party section and it's a large bowl you guys so I'm taking this paintbrush and I'm just gently brushing it on the outside of the bowl and that's going to create that beautiful faux terracotta look and so this is so easy you guys you guys can totally do this again a Dollar Tree also sells the DAP featherweight spackle it's just in a lot smaller container and I have grabbed that before and used it it's just like the ones you can get at Home Depot the larger one from Home Depot though gives you more projects and because I do so many DIYs I just use this larger one um, so anyway when you mix up the spackle and paint mixture again it's equal parts so if it's one cup you mix one cup and then here is just a little bit of sped up time but these dry rather quickly and I feel like they look really nice and really high-end especially if you're trying to create that kind of pottery look and you can do white gray terracotta whatever floats your boat um, and I think I'm gonna go back in and even give these more of an aged appearance I did want to let them dry overnight so here is how my faux terracotta bowl turned out and then I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to do the tape trick so here is another idea for how to create a floral arrangement we just did those peonies with foam but you can also use tape and run the tape across um, one way diagonal and then horizontal so that way you kind of create this basket weave with your tape and packing tape does work a little bit better than scotch tape this bowl was still a tiny bit tacky I was trying to get this video done for you all so I did use scotch tape but some of my little squares didn't hold up quite as nicely so if you have time use the packing tape that does hold up a little bit better but the trick still works so anyway 
I'm taking these beautiful little fluffy roses. These came on a bundle bouquet from Hobby Lobby and I did get them 50% off. It's really nice if you all look at their um, online at their coupons. They don't have the 40% off coupon anymore, but they do run a ton of sales. So it's really great. Just shop their sales. Um, that does have me going in a bit more often, I feel. Um, but again, you can get 40 and 50% off some of their nicer items. And here is how everything turned out. Oh my goodness, you guys, I was so excited for this DIY video. I've really been wanting to redecorate my living room for kind of a spring summer summer after Easter transition. I want things to feel very relaxed for summer. I don't want anything to feel um, like it's too much. I just want it to just be relaxed and elegant. Summertime is just a relaxed time for me. Um, I am going to probably throw in some beach vibes here and there and all of that fun stuff. But here is how my living room setup turned out. The topiaries um, I did also get from Hobby Lobby. Just a little side note there for you. Again, shop their sales. They're such a better day deal when you find their sales. So as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreated. I'm so excited to see what you guys are posting on my group page. So I love y'all and happy crafting and decorating. And Benji says he loves you guys too. We'll talk to you soon. DIY. I am so excited to share with you all how to create a beautiful Dollar Tree garden chandelier. So starting out, we're going to use one of the Dollar Tree wreath forms and this Dollar Tree splatter screen. And you're just going to unscrew the center part of that splatter screen. Then using some zip ties, we are going to zip tie the splatter screen to the center part of the wreath form. The wreath form is a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And you can just use a crafting tool to poke holes into the little edges and then you can see the little prongs. I'm zip tying the splatter screen to the little prong where um, they meet up with the wreath form. Okay, then using a little bit of hot glue and a crafting tool, I'm going to take these little Dollar Tree plastic party cups and they're supposed to be like wine glasses, but I'm not using this um, stem base part. And I'm just punching a hole, adding a little bit of hot glue and poking those into there. And then you can put some flickering flameless tea light candles down inside of here, or you could put even some solar lights down inside of here. The next thing I want to do is cover up my zip ties and really create a beautiful blooming garden chandelier. So I'm using this Dollar Tree greenery as well as some greenery that my daughter had bought on Amazon and she didn't need all of it. So she popped it over into my studio and you guys know I'm going to snap her up on that. So again, I'm just zip tying the greenery to my garden chandelier. I love using zip ties now. They're like my new favorite thing in the world, especially since we get so much wind here. Um, up here on our little hill, everything seems to want to tumble about. So these zip ties really have been keeping all of my greenery super secure. You guys can grab zip ties in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so get your greenery on there and then you can get super creative and add some uh, blooming flowers. I chose these wonderful kind of draping flowers. Again, these are from Dollar Tree, but you guys could use any florals that you have in your craft stash. And I used about six bundles of these. So this is a relatively budget-friendly little DIY. Also, I did try popping my little cups in and not hot gluing them, but they definitely needed some glue. So try some super glue, crazy glue, E6000 or hot glue. It really depends on where you're going to be placing your blooming garden chandelier. Um, if you're gonna place it outside, you're probably gonna want something that's gonna stay fairly well. Next, I'm using the Stellar Tree, a little garden chain. And then now I'm sharing with you guys how this looks with a real flickering um, tea light, but I don't recommend that because these cups are plastic, but just for video purposes. However, you can go on Amazon and you can even get them at Dollar Tree. They're just little um, flameless um, tea lights that aren't, that are battery operated. So anyway, here is how it looks. I love it. I hope you guys make one. They look so gorgeous, luxury and high end on a total budget. 
for this next Dollar Tree DIY. I am so excited to share with you this elegant, high-end looking three-tiered stand. This is amazing for desserts, muffins, fruit, whatever you have. So in the Dollar Tree party section, you're gonna find this two pack of bowls. And then I'm also using some candlesticks and these beautiful marble plates also from Dollar Tree. I think these look so luxury, so high end, and just using some E6000 glue, you can attach the bowl to the plate. Flip that bowl over, add the E6000 glue, and then attach the plate. You wanna get it in the center part. Now the next thing I'm doing is taking these little glass candlesticks and adding E6000 glue to the base of the candlestick. I'm gonna line it up in the center of my marble plate and then using E6000 glue again, I'm gonna go around the top part of the candlestick and then add another marble plate. That's gonna give me two tiers to my dessert stand. I love displaying these on my dining room table and just putting tons of faux muffins and goodies on them. You can decorate them seasonally. So this is really fun and fabulous on a total budget. And I think it looks really high end, especially using the marble plates and the beautiful kind of little fancy looking bowls. So then you're gonna add another tier with this bowl and the candlestick. So again, using the E6000 glue, you can just attach everything together. And I will give you a quick little tip. You can attach everything um, piece by piece, and that makes it a little bit more sturdy and make sure that your E6000 glue doesn't move around. So that's just a quick little tip from me to you. And here is how it looks. Now you can figure out how you wanna style it. You could use this in your glam um, bedroom, like little dresser, or you could use it like I'm doing with some faux cakes and muffins. Really, the sky is the limit on this, you guys. And I feel like it looks so elegant, so high end. These three tier trays are just so expensive. And I also like the addition of the beautiful kind of fluted bowl. So very fabulous on a total budget. Next at Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make an elegant, high-end looking floral arrangement using this faux Dollar Tree crystal bowl. This is plastic, but I feel like it looks really high-end. I added in some foam to the center, just using hot glue, and then I'm going to use some of these taller kind of Dollar Tree greenery that kind of spines up. I'm not for sure what it was, but I'm just using them in three places here to give my arrangement height. And then I'm gonna go around the entire base of my arrangement with this other faux greenery. And really, you can use any greenery you have on hand. I really think that this would look beautiful with kind of some thicker green kind of fern looking greenery. I am using what I already have in my stash though. I feel like I've been overrun with florals in my crafting stash. And so I'm really trying to make the most of them and use them and create some beautiful decor for my home. So continue to add greenery around the base of your bowl. And I've been watching some high-end luxury floral designers. Now they use real flowers, but I've been trying to really take a piece from the chapters of their book and apply it to these fake flowers. Now, if you can afford to you know, use really beautiful um, flowers that are fresh flowers, I say go for it, but I do like my arrangements to last a long time. And I am used to working with these faux silk florals. So now I'm gonna add some of these beautiful roses. Now the roses weren't from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does carry roses, but one thing you can do to make your arrangement look a little bit more high end is spend a little bit more on some silk flowers. Now the bundle of these were from TJ Maxx and they were $9.99 and I believe I got seven to eight flowers. So really it's almost Dollar Tree prices and you can look in your local craft store and look at the pre-made wedding bouquets and then um, you know buy when it's half off. And so you guys can really get a great deal on some beautiful roses and I'm just staggering my roses. I am adding a dab of hot glue just to make sure that they really stay in well. And then Dollar Tree carries also these beautiful white flowers. And I'm just gonna pop those in. And then last but not least, for this arrangement, I did end up using some baby's breath. Now at Dollar Tree, they call it gypso. So I just popped that in because I really wanted it to look like it was this fresh flower bouquet. This is gonna go on my entryway table. 
Really, this size of a bouquet can go pretty much anywhere. It's so versatile. I may even move it into my kitchen so you guys can see it when I do my good morning coffee and prayer card with you all. I do that on Instagram and Facebook and on my YouTube stories as well. So anyway, pop in some beautiful baby's breath or whatever you have on hand. Use whatever color of flowers that you love. I've been using a lot of neutrals lately because it's kind of that transitional time between holidays and I just want to use lots of greenery and then you can pop some flags in or just whatever suits your fancy. I added in some faux moss to the base of it and here is how it looks. I am so excited and thankful. Originally I had just taken the roses and just placed them in that bowl and it was just very sad looking. And so I feel like it looks a lot more high end luxury on a total budget, you guys, using almost all Dollar Tree supplies minus the beautiful roses. But again, I suggest splurging just a tiny bit to get a little bit nicer flowers that are gonna look a little bit more realistic. You can check Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and even Dollar Tree has some really beautiful flowers. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how to take these beautiful little Dollar Tree candle votive holders and make them a little bit more luxe. So I'm taking some Dollar Tree napkin rings and adding some hot glue to the base of this. And this is going to elevate these um, little votive holders. Now, I think they're absolutely gorgeous as is, but I did want to give them a little bit of an elevated look because I'm gonna make an arrangement kind of in the centerpiece of this marble plate. Here's one idea. You could add in a little flickering flameless taper candle. I get these off Amazon and they're so pretty. I decided to make them all look the same. So again, I'm just adding a napkin ring to the base by hot gluing it. And then I'm going to end up adding some pearls around that to add a surprise glam effect. So. You could add some faux jewels, really anything you want to do, but the faux marble plates from Dollar Tree, I think look really elegant, high end and very luxury. And now we're just doing this really simple, easy candle idea. You can use a flickering flameless votives, or you could also use some real votives in this arrangement. Either one will totally work. Um, we have an overabundance of votives in my home. And so I just wanted to go ahead and use these up but they look really elegant. I think this would be so nice for a little dinner party, or you could put this, you know, on your dresser, just wherever you need that touch of glam. Now I'm adding in a couple little bags of Dollar Tree pearls, and there you have it, a beautiful, elegant centerpiece that took barely any time to do, and it's a total budget, and you don't even have to use the napkin rings on the base. Again, I did just want to elevate this so everything could kind of fit on this platter a little bit better. And I think it gave it a little bit more of a high end look. So here it is. Comment and let me know what you all think. Would you do anything different with this? And you could also paint this to match your decor. You could do bronze. You could do completely gold, silver, purple, pink, whatever suits your fancy. Remember, take these ideas and really customize them to make them your own. this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you all how to glam up a Dollar Tree mirror. So I'm taking this beautiful kind of scrolly mirror and you could always paint this mirror black or gold or silver. I'm leaving it as is for now. And then I'm adding in some hot glue and some of these fake jewel or gems. So you see these kind of trays at Home Goods. They're super expensive. And I think they look really luxury to have a candle in the center or a beautiful floral arrangement. But you all can create this on a total budget. So $1 for your mirror and then another dollar for your pack of gems. And you'll even have some left over. Again, the gems are from Dollar Tree. And then you can get creative and place anything that you love in the center. So you could put this on your dressing table and put some beautiful lip, 
you know, lipsticks on it. You could put a floral centerpiece on it, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to share with you guys an easy little rosebud vase. Here's how it looks. You could put your soap on it in your bathroom. You could put it next to your sink for soap, just whatever floats your boat. Now I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree trinket jars and they're coming in black and white and they're so beautiful. I added some foam to the center and now I'm just going to add some of these roses. I've used these roses so many times and I just love them. I picked them up at a garage sale. I'm trimming the stems down just a tiny bit so they will fit in here. I know exactly where I'm going to put this in my home. It's going to go in my bathroom because it's a really pretty small floral, but it's small but mighty. I think these roses are just so beautiful, but really you guys could pick any little roses or anything. I think little rosebuds um, look so elegant, like clustered together in a vase. They don't require a lot of greenery. You could even use this on a bridal table, baby shower. Just the sky is the limit, you guys. There's so many ideas. I think roses always give off that look of feeling and looking a little bit more luxurious and romantic, which you guys know I love a little bit of romance. So here's how it looks, and I'm just going to pop it onto this tray. This part is optional depending upon the space you have, but then there is how that looks, and that's just an idea of how you can style it. Another way to make things look a little bit more luxurious is to make sure you're styling your items. So add in some other beautiful touches, you know, a vintage book, this little gold bird I found at a garage sale. These beautiful napkins are at Dollar Tree, and they are so high quality. They have a gold flamingo on them. Try to choose a color palette that's fairly neutral and then go with a couple of accent colors just to really make everything pop. So as you guys can see on this table, I used a lot of whites and then just some gold for an accent, a metallic color, and then some pops of pink for a surprise. For this next DIY, we're going to take this vase that I had found at the thrift store. Originally, it was a green glossy color. I chalk painted it white just to give it a little bit more of a neutral look. And then I added in some Dollar Tree foam. And now I'm using some Dollar Tree greenery. I used the foam just a little bit higher than the arrangement. That way I had a little bit more to work with foam wise and I could really spine um, some of this greenery out. So this is just the Dollar Tree greenery and I'm going in and around the base of this. Now I'm adding in some of those beautiful little Dollar Tree white flowers. I've been watching some really luxury high-end floral designers on YouTube. So all you guys have to do is go to your YouTube search bar and type in luxury floral design and you can really watch some really amazing artists create some beautiful florals and I watch real floral designs um, mainly because I just love real florals but I don't really have access to a lot of beautiful real flowers and I don't really spend money on that I already had these in my stash so I thought I'd try to recreate some of those looks that are really high-end on a budget <laughs> using some of these um, Dollar Tree flowers now these larger pink hydrangeas actually are left over from Valentine's Day and they were from Hobby Lobby, but they came in like a bundle of flowers. So when you go to your craft store, try to find some of the um, bundles of flowers and then buy them when they're 40, 50, 60% off. I also buy my flowers at the end of the season when they go up to 80 to 90% off at Michael's. Now I'm adding in some little Dollar Tree lilacs and some taller white flowers. And then I got a little bit wild with this and I added in some lamb's ear. I'm not sure if that's the correct thing to do, but I needed more greenery and the lambs here really filled things out. I did have some purple lilac and some purple Dollar Tree flowers floating around in my craft stash and I really wanted the pink to be offset with some purple and some more greenery. So it just wasn't so um, harsh with that bright pink. So here's how it turned out. As always, please comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be attempting to recreate or which one sparked your interest? Now, the secret question for today's video is, what is your favorite movie or book that you are currently watching or reading? I really love to hear what y'all are up to. It helps me get to know you guys, and it's also going to give you guys another entry into my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. I'm going to spoil one of you guys. So 
it's just fun to get to know everybody. So drop a comment down below. What is your favorite show that you're currently watching or your favorite book that you're reading? I tend to watch shows, but I do love books. Books, though, the older I get, seem to put me to sleep, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it's not. Although I'm getting to the point, too, where movies put me to sleep. Okay, and here is for all of the Benji Bear fans. He got a new little banana toy at Target. He has to show it off to you guys. So say hello to Benji Bear. We love y'all and we're thankful for another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. Now, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing is totally free. It's going to give you guys a chance to enter my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. The winner is going to be announced on June 21st. So good luck to everyone and congratulations to our former winner, Cynthia Hicks. That gift card is on your way, girlfriend. So anyway, listen, I am on my fifth season on YouTube and you guys have been here with me. Thank you all so much. I'm a DIY crafty mama. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I'm in the same little home that I started out in. It was a little starter home for my husband and I about 20 years ago and um, we have just grown with it. Our kids got really big. We had boys and a daughter and um, I remember it feeling pretty small but then also realizing and watching my parents as they begin to downsize after everybody left the home. So we're gonna be empty nesters soon. Um, but that being said, I just want to encourage you guys, no matter what season of life you're in, and I've recently been doing some Bible studies and really embracing that this is a very different season of my life as my youngest is going to be graduating in the next couple of years. And it's just gonna be me and my puppy dog and the, my loved ones. So listen, whatever you guys have got going on, just keep going. Um, there's a different season for every life. I remember um, when my children were small, that season was so busy and I almost felt like I couldn't come up for, for air for a long time. And you know, now this season that I'm in is just so much different. I have so much more time for myself to think and to pray and to reflect and to really try to be there for others and lift them up and all of that kind of fun stuff. So no matter what season your life you're in, maybe you're young in college, maybe you're a kiddo, maybe you're a young mommy, um, maybe you're middle-aged mommy and your house is busy and full of teenagers and kids all the time. Maybe you're like me and you're beginning to transition into the empty nester thing, or maybe you're older and your kids have been gone for a long time and you have grandkids in your home or, you know, wherever you're at, just try to embrace that season of your life and embrace the woman or man that you are for that season and do your best to live up to your potential. Whatever gift God has given you, we've all been given a gift. Remember to share that gift. Sometimes all we have to share is a smile or a kind word or a text or a sweet note. If you have that to give, please share that. Um, don't hold back loving on the people that are in your life because you don't ever know when that might change or you know you don't ever know who's not gonna be at your table the next Thanksgiving dinner so anyway that being said I wish you a gorgeous a fabulous blessed day we are now on summer break um, for my kiddos we are going to be looking forward to this summer with so much joy um, and I hope you all are as well and you just find the things in life that are beautiful Thank you for being here. I just hope that this word has been encouraging to you and it lifts you up and that you're encouraged by the crafts that you see in my fun home decor and some of the ideas that I've shared with you guys. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.